So are you confused or intimidated by an adoption profile book? Don't be. If we could do it, you can do it. <laughs> if she can do it, you can do it. <laughs> In this series, we're talking about how we achieved our goal of adopting. It was one of our 100 life goals to adopt a child, and now we've done that twice. Today we're gonna to be talking about an adoption profile book, and what it is, how adoption agencies use them, and what goes in a profile book. So what is an adoption profile book? It is a book that tells a lot about you and your family that the adoption agency gives to prospective adoptive mothers or mothers and fathers. Think of it like a hard copy Facebook profile for you and your family. Mm -hmm. So we can only speak about Little Angel Adoptions because that is the agency that we used. But we were told that several agencies work in a similar way. So what happens first is the birth mother comes in. We kind of talked about this in the first video, but she comes in, she tells them that she would like to make an adoption plan and they want to know what she wants in an adoptive family. So once they figure that out, they narrow it down to about three to five families and they give her this profile book. With those books, she is able to compare different families and figure out who she thinks she may like. And every birth mother is going to be different in her tastes. Uh, Amlin's birth mother and father loved that we had four boys and wanted to give us a girl so that she could have protective older brothers watching after and so that we could have a girl. We were very grateful for that. And Lincoln's birth- And so were the grandmas. So were the grandmas, <laughs> definitely. And Lincoln's birth mother loved that we are religious. So now to get to the meat of our subject. What is in this book? First of all, you can put a letter to the birth mother. You do have to make it vague and that can be kind of difficult, but it is because most likely several women are going to read your book before you are actually matched with one. And then you give lots of details about your life. You talk about your neighborhood, you talk about maybe if you have other kids, any hobbies or interests you have, you talk about your significant other if you're in a relationship. You just give her as much information and shed as much light on your life as you possibly can, but in an uplifting and happy way. You don't want to be a Debbie Downer. That's not attractive. <laughs> also, like we said earlier, put as many pictures as possible in there because a picture's worth a thousand words and you don't have that much space in an adoption profile. They're not going to want to read a novel to, to find out about right. it. Just ask yourself, what do I want the birth mother to know about us, about me? That's what you want to put in there. Something else that we put in there is we talked about not only our immediate family, but our extended family. We talked about our siblings and our parents because they are a big part of our personal lives. And if you have pets, you can mention pets. If you're religious, you can mention the church you go to, whatever it is. Let her know what her child's life and world is going to be like. Another thing you're gonna include in the, the adoption profile are letters of recommendation, and these are separate letters of recommendation from the home study yeah. that we talked about in our last video. Your birth mother would also want to know from other people that you are a good family for them to place their child with. The way we went about doing this is we sent out a mass email to several friends and family and just let them know that, hey, we're starting this process and we need some letters of re recommendation. We'd love it if you took a few minutes to write us one. And we were flooded with amazing letters. Okay, so now that you know the role that the profile book plays in this process and you know what goes in it, you may be wondering how to make one. I know when they first sent us that we needed a profile book resume, I think is what they called it or something. I was like, oh what? I had no earthly idea what that was. And then me being me, I like started Googling it, Pinteresting it, and it was super overwhelming. But I found blurb.com and they had an app that I downloaded onto my desktop and it was super easy. They had lots of different layouts, prints, fonts, 
ways to put things in there and make it all pretty and make it your own and I was really pleased with that because I am not super tech savvy at all. The key to remember is that it needs to be you. Don't worry about everyone else because if you're mentioning what your life looks like and what and who you are, then that's all that matters. If you try to copy everyone else, it's not going to you're not going to be happy with it. It's not going to portray to the birth mother who you really are and Uniform is boring. Be yourself. And you're gonna be overwhelmed if you do that. You're gonna be stressed and overwhelmed trying to make it look like somebody else's. Don't go to Pinterest. <laughs> do not go to Pinterest when looking for adoption profile books. Just, just write down how you think it should look for yourself. And so seriously, with Blurb, I was able to make a beautiful book within a week's time. And, and again, that was only me putting nap time hours into it, you know? So it was super simple. She's proud of the adoption profile book. We made a copy for each of our parents who love it because it's, again, it's like a scrapbook, just a bunch of pictures, of course, they love it. And when also when we went to go visit Lincoln's birth mother one time, she even pulled it out. She said that she still had it and looks at it occasionally because she loved it. Yeah. The thing is, is that this is the birth mother's first impression of you, right? So. First impressions go a long way and she hadn't forgotten about it. Check out our affiliate link below if you want to go check out Blurb for an adoption profile book and watch our next video. It is one of the most exciting ones. Link in the bird. Yeah. Happy adopting. Bye. Bye.